Hello and welcome back to Factorial and I um, I actually found it quite easy uh, to find this stuff because I happen to have a save laying around where I I thought I did have like I had done this which I had, which meant that I don't have to like do this on my own. I have I actually have a blueprint and I remember when I saw it that you will need a bit more than I said that you need. Uh, and most notably it is uh, you will need uh, two roboports, one for each um, kind of robot, and and you will need one chest per robot. Uh, you don't technically you don't need it but it is a good way to i would probably limit it to one slot and not two now this is not my design this is something i picked up from catherine of sky uh, so like and i'm not sure who she picked it up from or so uh, or if she just made it herself. She knows a lot more about like circuit network than I do. I usually don't do a lot of it. So, but we want um, to set this up as it is right here. Now, for this to actually work, I'm going to have to pick up more resources so I can actually make a duplicate so I can show you the step-by-step -step process and sh basically show you how how it's made without just using a blueprint. Um, make two of the robot ports because we will need them. And then we need one, two, three, four decider combinator. That's important. You need four decider combinator. And as you can see, the the red and green wire here is important so we will need uh, red and green um let's see here it's one two three four red one two three four green um so basically doing a right click on red and a right click on green should be enough now let's see if we can make this now we might have to put this a bit further away because of how this is going to work and then we need these and to feed these two chests you will need long-handed inserters i'm not going to put them down just yet because i don't want like stuff to be in my um to be in my um my chest before i have set everything up as it is uh, down here now we are doing it like the other way around but just mirror it and it should be fine now these arrows means which is the input and the output and where i'm standing right now is the input and where i'm standing right now is where the output signal is going to come so if we take a look we need to hook up these two to each other 
and then we need this to be connected to this so we need uh, we need a robot port to be connected to the input on one of the desired combinators and then we need to hook um, the inputs together so the signal from the robot port goes to both of them and then we need uh, a new signal an uh, isolated signal for the output to go to to the fast inserter <clears throat> now this inserter is going to be for the logistics robot and it is if uh, logistics robots are greater than zero then this is going to work as we can see logistics now if we move this around we can see that this is how what we could actually do is just to make this a bit easier to follow along uh, I should have done that beforehand but I didn't anyway um, let's rotate uh, I can delete that and let's go pick it up let's do this one like that there we go as we can see it is connected in the same way for this half So the two here is connected to each other. The robot port is connected to with a green wire to the input. And then we have on these two decider combinators, we have red wire to the fast, uh, fast inserter. Now, if we turn on the information, what I'm going to do is this. We don't have this annoying blinking stuff. And What the most left ones is going to say is why. Now, what is the signal why? If we open this and go to read robot uh, statistics, we can see that why is total logistic bots. So what is this saying? So it's actually saying that if total amount of logistic spots is less than 1.2 uh, K then output a signal of one logistics robot okay now 1.2 K is not necessarily the amount of robots you want we should not have that we should have why the why and we let's say we want 100 we're going a bit more realistic with the start here so let's say we want uh, uh, 100 so if we have less than 100 logistics robots then we have to set on the output say one click here and select the logistics robot which means that we now will output a signal of one if we if I do this just to show we have a signal output of one logistic spot because we have less than 100 logistic spots in the network in total which means we need to make more of them if we want to meet the quota and the designated target now the x what does the x stand for let's go back and check available log logistic spots what that means is 
how many bots is not doing any work? So how many is just sitting around and waiting is what that means. So that means if we have less than, uh, since X is available logistics robots, if we have less than 10 available logistics bots, then we will output a signal of one logistics robot, which means we will make more of them. Why? Because if we give, give them a lot of work, and we are using all our bots to to do this work we have uh, said then it makes sense to make more of them because we don't have enough to actually do what we have said we want want them to do but this is a way to like okay we not we don't have enough so we want to make more so as, as of now, this works. We now have a signal of two. This is the reason why we want the logistics robots on the fast, ins like why the fast inserter enabled condition needs to be logistics robots, whatever signal you use, to be greater than zero. So it means two, one, two, three, whatever, how many signals it is. But it can't be, it can't be like equal to one because as in this case, we will have two. So yeah, I just removed that because this is now done. This is now working as it should be. Now these numbers, the constant number here for, uh, for, for this and for this 10 here, that is something you can easily change and something you most likely will change okay just checking to see so we don't lose any anything now now we have the next one if we look at the wires uh, we can see that it is basically mirrored it's going to look exactly the same more or less so let's do the green. We need to connect this up with input and then onto the next. And that was all the green. Like the red. And on the output to the fast inserter. Like that. So now we have all of the input and output. Uh, for the cons uh, decider combinator and the robot port and the fast inserter all connected up correctly as we can see right here it is exactly the same though since it's not uh, exactly in the same position in uh, uh, in terms of where they are in relation uh, they don't the wires don't look exactly the same but it's still the same uh, connection points that is being used. Now let's turn on the information. Now let's go and go over to the robot port. This is super important. When we click left click on the robot port here, the right the, the right hand one, you will get this one up. On this mode of operation, it will be defaulted to read logistic network content. That's not the mode you want. You want the, statist uh, the robot statistics one. And you have to choose this to actually get the output signal uh, option. It won't work unless you make sure to click the robot statistics on both of them so that's be careful so you don't miss doing that um, but do everything else and then wonder why it doesn't work you need to have this output signal tab here uh, by clicking read robot statistics for both of the robot ports now 
Construction bots has Z and T. If we look over here, we have Z. Now Z is um, available. But let's start with T, which is total. Now you usually want more uh, construction bots than logistics bots. So let's transfer over the T first. There we go. And we need to output a specific signal value of one. So this is important to not use the input count, but the value of one. So click on the number one and then we select construction robot. And then we want to say how many do we want? Like how many construction robots do we want? I would probably say 300 um, for a start, at least. So that's that one. Now, the available one was Z, which means uh, it is the amount available amount. So Z less than and let's go with 10 there as well output of a value of one and construction robot as the output signal this is very important so you don't mess up this has to be the only value you can uh, change is the constant number over the parameters here this one here is something you can change and this one here is something you can change. And the same one here. And the same one here. That's the only value you can change. Everything else has to stay as it is. For it to actually work. Uh, what we need to do here. We have set this one up for the logistics robot. Now we need to do it for the construction robot. Enabled condition is going to be construction robot greater than zero and there we go this is now done this is how it's going to be i'm going to delete this because i don't want it in there uh this is a very easy way of controlling how many robots you construct so you don't endlessly make robots because at some point you're probably not going to need more robots unless you go completely crazy with robots uh, let's tear this one down because we don't actually need this uh whoops i do want that connection there and now we like yeah we have set this up but what is missing the feeding of the particular robots so what happens now is that um the, ma the machines will continuously uh, create robots um as long as um The machines are getting the supplies uh, it needs and it will alternate with how i set up with a split over here which is going to be made so it is going to go 50 50 until uh, the requirement is met and we have quite a few of them so far we have 20 logistics robots and 18 construction robots. It is The construction is going to go up to 300. And the uh, logistics robots are going to go up to 100 because we have set this number here. And this number here. Now, if we give them a bunch of work to do, 
they won't grow unless they have less than 10 available ro uh, robots um, in the system. So if we have like 9 available robots, then they will keep on making more, even though they have reached their upper limit as we have set them. But that is basically how you start getting robots made. Now, next step is making the network. Like making and extending the network. And if we do this. And yes, this is going to be something that takes up a lot a lot of time and you need to power every single uh, one of them so where you put down a rope port not only is it going to take up quite a lot of space uh, you need to put down a uh, power poles of some kind to actually power the RoboPort. Which of course makes sense, but still. Um, let's see. We now can make the Power Armor Mark II. Now we need 25 speed module 2 and 25 efficiency module 2 and 30 low density structures and 40 electric engine units and 60 processing units on top of the portable fusion react uh, reactor uh, which we need want two of yeah we are going to need like a lot of resources to make this work and then we need um, I want Mark uh, Energy Shield Mark IIs, and I want the Personal Battery Mark II, and Personal Laser, and Exoskeleton, and a bunch of stuff. Now, what I should do is make this. Uh, the Personal Roboport Mark II is way better than the, the first one you get, uh, both in terms of uh, how many robots you can use per Roboport, uh, Personal Roboport, and so on it is a lot better now let's take a look up here how is it looking and how is it going it seems the copper is going okay ish it's not well off it's just not terrible. I... Oh my god, we have basically cleared all of this. Yay! Finally! It took a, a while, but we actually got there in the end. That is super nice the reason why i'm doing this is just to speed it up even more the copper is almost gone as well which is a good thing and this means we can actually start moving stuff around we can actually like hook it up in the way it was intended to be um now you could just ignore what I've done and like not uh, worry about covering up resources um, you will save yourself a lot of time and headache if you just if you just like don't <laughs> like deplete the mine uh, the ores in your starting area because yeah it might actually take some time to get rid of all of it 
more more time than you are willing to spend maybe now i had a bunch of other stuff to do in the meantime so for me it wasn't that bad but we could have probably used the time a bit more efficiently but still what is done is done can't be changed i don't want to change it now not getting this picked up properly is a bit of a, a pain but i think what we should do is just this yeah. Take all the stone and do this. There we go. That means I might be able to actually pick this stuff up. Not necessarily, but maybe. Could just put it in like that. Um, and yeah. There we go. I think I have a... A coal box up here. Maybe I didn't. I probably didn't have that. Well, whatever. Um... I do uh, what I can do is just this put it in like that don't need to make something like that it's just not necessary there we go yeah this is the uh, is another reason why I want the power armor mark 2 because I get more inventory space with that and that is going to be very helpful. Very, very, very helpful. Now, we don't need that. And this needs to be rerouted. I should move this. Out of the way. There is a big problem really when it comes to building without really planning because you will have to redo a bunch of stuff and remake it uh, because you didn't plan it. Um, but it's fine. Um, it's not necessarily going to slow you down an insane amount, uh, but it might slow you down a bit. Uh, enough that it is, uh, might like, be somewhat annoying to actually get stuff done properly. Uh, I think what we should do here is to see where this oh oh right i i haven't i think at some point we are going to have to <laughs> go around and uh fix um various places um to be honest <laughs> just like Fix them up and... Uh. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm going to remove this belt and then I will call this episode and uh, hopefully I'm not going to have to do an insane amount of trips to get this done, but you never know. There we go. Should remove it and get rid of whatever I picked up. <laughs> this one is almost cleaned. And this way we are going to get rid of it a bit faster. Now, we should probably put in more uh, production of copper. Um, I'm not going to do it right now. I want to put up the, the stone uh, and the stone bricks because that is just not working at this point. Uh, there is no stone or stone bricks uh, being made. So we have to fix that first since we don't have anything of it. Um, copper is still is still there, it's just not good. But it is still there. So I'm going to finally uh, hook up the stone to make bricks and so on and then we will make more copper and more steel and more iron and do a bit of fixing when it comes to the resource because they are just not well off and we are slowly but surely making robots at this point Yeah, so, thanks for watching, goodbye, and I hope I'll see you in the next one.